Торонський відділ Конгресу українців Канади запросив громаду на спільну вечірню молитву з Украї... за Україну в Блор Вест Вілледж. В Торонто 20 березня відбувся мітинг в підтримку України на Блор Стріт Вест. Сотні людей зібрались помолитися за українських солдатів і народ та душі невинних 109 дітей, які були жорстоко вбиті внаслідок російської агресії. Присутні приносили свічки та лампадки, з яких пізніше разом викладали великий герб України, аби його було видно якнайдалі. Ми молимо, щоб це закінчилося. Ми молимо для Росії, щоб вийшовувати. Є надіжда, є багато надіжда. Вчора було відбування, дуже маленьке відбування, of Rus mostly Russian students. I will tell you, one of the ladies there, I believe she's here tonight, broke down in tears. She was so hurt, she apologized. We pray that there is more of them and they wake up to the injustices that the Russian regime, the government, the military is doing. Because it's not just one man. Unfortunately, there's, peop there's soldiers dropping bombs on civilians. They know exactly what they're doing. It's hard. It's very hard to find words when you're just thinking about these tiny bodies, you know, 109 kids killed, bombed. They, their hearts stopped beating. Their parents, grandparents, will never hear their laughs. They will never laugh at their childish pranks. They will never know how they will grow, what their destinies would have been. Those kids have never heard about Ruski Mir, Russian world. They will, know, they will never know about that. But we know now very well. Hypocrites in Kre Kremlin, they say Russian world is the world of Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, Bolshoi theater, you know, and this is humanistic, the culture of humanism. But we know how this humanism reveals itself in Ukraine. We should pray, we should ask God to take their souls to the heaven. But we also should tell everyone and everybody in the world that they, those who committed these terrible, outrageous crimes, will be made accountable. Tragically, there is worse yet to come for Ukraine. The NATO countries, like that pilot of yore, have washed their hands of Ukraine's fate, abandoning an entire nation to the savagery of Putin and his confederates. The latter's plans are plain. They seek not Ukraine's surrender, but a national extinction, the erasure of this country from the world's maps. Ukrainians never were Russians, are not Russians now, and certainly never will be after having suffered the devastation and dismemberments of the days of Ukraine's passion. In the wake of this Holocaust, what remains of the modern Ukrainian state will be buried. But do not think this represents any final solution to the Ukrainian question. I say to you now that it does not. For just as surely as Ukraine's crucifixion is upon us, so too Ukraine will arise from its Russian-dug tomb. With that Ukrainian resurrection, there will be a reckoning. Those who drew Ukraine's blood and those who abandoned Ukraine will not escape judgment.
Залаєш ми в злу годину, залаєш ми в злу годину. Сам не знаю, де погину.